Oh, you know what? I'm reconsidering buying a pair of Salomons, um, the hiking shoes that I took the piss out of on a couple of the podcasts ago. I've seen this, right? Um, Salomon XT4s Advanced. Um, is that what it's called? Salomon Advanced has been given the monochrome treatment. Yeah, they look nice, man, in this sort of monochrome tone, right? you got a lot of whites. you got a lot of silvers. you got a lot of neutral greys. They don't look like the most flexible shoes in the world. Maybe it's just me from my eye looking from the outside in. But they don't look like they've got that much flex. That might be a, a, a um, that might be done a thing done on purpose in order to make them optimal for you know uh, trekking and hiking all across the mountains and shit. Um, I've never really been a fan of the lace fastening system they have here with the little pulley thing. I like my laces, but again, I'll be willing to give that up if that meant swagging it out in a pair of these. But they look pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm kind of changing my mind on these Salomon shoes. Again, they're, the, they're probably up there with the most hipstery shoes of all hipster shoes. They're probably up there with my double sole Dr. Martins in terms of hipster trainers that people would tend to wear. But they're un, they're unapolog it's unequivocal that these look nice. You can't debate it. You can't really say they don't look nice because they do. But again, when you wear them, I always feel like people just assume you listen to NTS. <laughs> people assume you roll your own cigarettes. You go to Broadway Market. Um, you like that? What's that record store in South that everyone goes to and wax off of? And it's all, I don't know, but you know what I mean, right? There's a particular sort of person that wears this sort of thing. Like you probably got white socks on. Um, you're probably wearing a very expensive jacket, Arterix, North Face, um, something of those kind of ilk. Um, you probably attend. You probably go to Cafe Oto more often than not to go see people perform. You know, noise experimental sets or some malarkey. There is something about the shoe that kind of really. You know what I mean, I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to be associated with these people. I really do not. I just want to buy my shit and just enjoy it. But you just you can't help but end up looking at these people because I guess everyone has the same sort of outfit, right? I'm thinking salvage denim, some sort of tactical pants, whatever it may be, a nice outerwear piece, Arterix, North Face, uh, Berghaus. Patagonia, some sort of outdoor brand, right? You're going to put on, maybe you'll find like an off-key sort of Korean Japanese brand you might uncover out the blue. Um, and then you have your little hat on. So you would end up looking like those guys, right? You end up either looking like you graph, you have some sort of graffiti, right? You're going to do some throw up somewhere or uh, you got like a sick hand style or you're going to be looking like one of these flipping, you know, scrubs that hands around the flipping shortage and shit or rolling up their own cigarettes and telling you about some set they listen to on nts at 8 a.m in the morning like this is definitely the kind of person that wears this sort of stuff but again i like it man i like it i can't deny it i have to kind of take it back salomon xt4 advanced and when did they meant to come out um they retail for 165 pounds though they're not cheap brother um let's see if they're actually available at matches i actually haven't checked this but 165 pounds is no real thing to scoff at the name is a bit bad isn't it solomon Salomon XT4 Advanced. Right? Some of the names these trainer companies give their um, models is pretty odd. Loads of sizes available. Full size on. It's interesting though, right? The moment something isn't worn by a particular person, it's because I always say the the person I kind of always have to keep an eye on and make sure if you wear something, I just don't wear it. Is someone like an ASAP Rocky? Is annoying. I remember I kept saying it, but he's got such influence. It's fucking annoying. It's really annoying. Him and Travis Scott. I remember I've got a pair of I've got a pair of Converses now, right? I've got those um what I get? I've got those denim tier Converses with the flipping um Black Power flag thing on it. You know, you know what I mean, right? Um and those are the first pairs of Converses I've actually bought because obviously my feet are quite wide and quite long, so they don't really suit those shoes because you know, I've always been a Vans guy and Vans start hurting me and usually I imagine Converses are a little bit more skinnier, but then the vintage pairs of Converses have a little bit more of a wider toe box. I thought, you know what, let me give it a go. But I still did buy a half a size up, which might be a mistake in the long run because they do seem a little bit baggy, a little bit loose, don't get me wrong, baggy, loose. But I bought them, right? I got them. And then what I've recognized is that I remember prior to that, I was also eyeing up a pair of Converse Lowe's with the sort of flame pattern. So I've got like a fire pattern on the side. And I think they were blue, like a blue flame. And they looked really nice. They went on sale on Goodhood. I was looking at them for a while, keeping my eye on them. And then suddenly they all sold out. It was a full size one available on Goodhood. Then I went on the next day and they completely sold out. What the fuck happened? Happened to go on Instagram. I check out um, that um, that's meme page, whatever, the guy that puts up all the style quotes and, you know, he really hates Drake. What's his name? 
Um, who is Celebrity Vice, right? Um, who is Celebrity Vice on Instagram? Really good site. You, you check it out. I think it's private, but if you request it, he definitely make sure to approve you. I think so. Sometimes people approve, but because he kind of goes on rants about people in the industry. I'm not too sure who he is, but he's a really good page. And then he posts up an image of ASAP Rocky going to, I don't know, somewhere, and he's got the fucking shoes on. I was like, oh, no wonder they sold out then. It was like a couple of days prior to that. I was like, fuck, man. So that picture definitely circulated around all the same, you know, pages like hidden, all this sort of shit. And then everyone bought out the shoes. So it can be annoying. But the good thing about it is that if it, no one of that if no one of that crew is wearing the stuff, you can most probably pick them up really easily. So because no one in that crew is drop is dropping Solomon, you know, Ian Connor's in jail, he's not wearing new stuff anymore at the moment. It's like Barry's doing, you know, what he's doing now and just wearing anything that's got a pattern, he just slaps it on. So, you know, there's a lot of scope to kind of pick out your thing and, you know dodge all the dodge all the sold out bits here and there and dodge looking like some trendy hype beast but i i like them man i like them and i'm again i'm happy that a full size one exists but maybe it's because of retail price i don't think so because people still buy triple s's and shit so that doesn't make any sense but i like that they're available in a full size run there full size run 165 solomon xt 4s uh, very grateful hopefully i'm not it's a bad permission and a couple of days later we're gonna see rocky wearing a minute they're gonna be sold out again but yeah so far so good so far so good